welcome to Kyiv Post, uh, Serhii Tsvikac, who is the CEO of Ukraine Invest. Delighted Hello. to have you here. What would you consider as uh, the main achievements or successes over the last five or six years? And what have been the most uh, difficult challenges you've faced? Ukrainian West, since 2016, managed to unlock and attract more than 4 billion US dollars. During 2021 alone, we have managed to attract and support investments for 750 million US dollars. Out of those $750 million, a um, uh, majority of investments will go into manufacturing sector. So at least 10 factories and plants will be built in Ukraine within the next 12 to 24 months. So I think it's the biggest achievement because we, as Ukraine Invest, are focused now uh, mostly on development of manufacturing. Manufacturing is the key for development of Ukrainian economy as every economy worldwide. And we have some you know, positive figures. In 2021, we have seen sharp increase of FDI inflows compared to 2020, for example, because in 2020, we have seen negative figure at minus $35 million uh, level. And in 2021, we think that the end of the year will be marked with a record high FDI inflow, namely about 6.5 billion US dollars. Look, let's finish off by uh, asking you, sir, he, uh, what would be your key messages now to, to investors, to business, uh, to the business community, diplomats who may be watching or reading uh, our interview? Uh, my key message is to keep calm and to bring attention to Ukraine, because Ukraine needs to stand out. You know, uh, so many countries were uh, affected by negative, you know, um, effects of pandemic. More than 170 countries worldwide face negative GDP growth. So Ukraine needs to stand out, you know. And I'm always looking at opportunities where you can turn a bad case into a positive case. So at the moment, we have attention to Ukraine in international media, unfortunately connected to possible war case. But we need to turn this case into a continuous attention to Ukraine in terms of economic development. And for example, we have seen Sir Richard Branson address to international business community about Ukraine. And the very next day, I can tell you, Ukraine Invest wrote a letter to Sir Richard Branson and we suggested to him to have an international event, business event in Ukraine, or maybe in London, you know, and to bring businessmen together and to think how we can jointly invest in Ukraine. And by doing so, develop security in Ukraine and at regional level. I thank you very much, Sir Hugh, for this very informative uh, discussion and for sharing with us your insights and views. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you very much.